welcome back so in this class we'll be have a look how we can use migrations and migration is a I'm an amazing concept and of course Laravel is using migrations and migration is kind of you know uh, building your database schema in in just some files in PHP because uh, in, in real world in simple your projects in traditional projects and in, in if you're using a core PHP and MySQL you just need to go to your PHP my admin and then manually create all the databases right and it is just pretty hard to you know update the project and implement it somewhere else so migrations basically live inside our database and then we have migrations folder these are some migrations and it is the schema basically for example we just have for just hey we will just run a command for example php artisan migrate and it will just go to our migrations and then create this users table and this these are basically the columns for it right the table and what are the operations for id basically just inside this users table just go ahead and create an id and it should be increment and this function will do it for you know it is just for increment for primary key and uh unique uh not for unique but primary and then increments right and kind of unsigned right and then the string name basically this is the schema and you just think migrations are kind of uh version control for your database right and you can update and delete column and etc okay uh, these are basically can by default with Laravel because in early uh, in in my artisan lecture I've just told you if you just run PHP artisan auth command that will just generate a complete authentication system for it so it it uses this schema table for our okay if we just remove this right let me just delete them and then password resets migration okay so let's just learn how we can create a migration from scratch okay let's just go to the root directory of your project and then if I just say PHP artisan make migration right if you just press enter oh yeah that not works and first go to me uh, yeah, make sure to artisan okay oh yeah the artisan command is not working so we just say PHP artisan all right now we can see we have make migration something there it is create a migration file right so if you just say php artisan make migration and the name of the migration uh, you should follow the naming conventions basically we have to say create underscore and the name of the table for example users you can say posts like that uh, create posts and user for example post as users and then table right and again we can say we'll just say create uh, the name of the table we just must say this to it will just create a users table for it there we go if you just go to our database and then migrations file it will just create the you know up it, it, basically this file has a class create post table and it extending the migration the base migration class and then it has two methods the up method and then the down method basically when we run php artisan migrate command that will just upload or for example kind of upload this uh, schema to our database well, for example in php my admin and if we just for example we have a command for example php uh, p artisan rollback migration rollback so it will just delete users table right these two methods okay now let's have a look on schema basically this is a schema and then it's creating users table and then we have a blueprint inside we just created blueprint we're just binding the blueprint and telling it as a table and this table this is basically we will use this instance for example and what basically what do you want to use in your uh, post stable we need an ID along with increment primary key and unsigned right and then if you just go back and then create a new for example string column for example and the type is a string this kind of varchar and you can also define the length for example 255 something like that right and you can just use for example 
the default method it, uh, default method and you can say something like what should we need in default right and then we can also use the unsigned method or null labels there are lots of methods if you just go back to lateral documentation uh, if you just visit the migrations you can just get these methods right okay let's just duplicate this and for example we just have text and this should be our title and this is the body and what is this basically the time stamps it will just we'll just have a look it will just create a two columns created it and updated it these two columns will just get the current date for any record right okay so this is our schema that's ready so if you just go back to our terminal and then run the command called php artisan migrate so if you just hit enter it will basically upload our migrations to our uh, php for to our database for example we are using mysql and we'll upload them to php my admin but before that you should make sure if you just go back to our env file you must you know set up the database environment for example we have connection we have host and the port and then the database name and username and password okay what about the database name if you just go back to our php my admin or any tool you're using for example i'm using navicade and this is a good inter this basically it provides me a good interface it's like a sql pro if you're using mac okay so this is kind of my php admin php my admin and if i just go and then create a new database and let's call this for example shop right this is created and this is empty at the moment so if you just go to our env and our database name is shop and then username is root and we do not have any password yet okay this done so let's just go to our terminal and then run this command let's see what happens what do we face any errors something like that let's just hit enter there it is the migrations are created successfully so if we just go to our navigate and then just refresh this there it is we just have two tables one for migration basically it will uh, create a record for our migrations we are rolling down we are just migrating our new table it will just contain a uh, record for is uh, for these migrations right so we just open our users there it is this is our migration you can see we have title body now if we just go to design and there it is the id integer 10th and not null right the title and then body the, the, the data types and these are basically as i told you that we use time stamps so this is uh, basically time stamp is creating created ad and updated ad two columns here right so this is about migration and we can just add data to, to them and uh, we'll just in the next video look have uh, more about the migrations for example adding columns deleting them and many things right uh, which there are few just there are few things we have to discuss